Hi guys, in this tutorial I will show you how to make this cool video with angel wings. But before we begin, I want to remind you that I'm giving away my paid plugins for free. Check out this video if you missed it, and read the description to get your plugins. Let's begin now. First of all, pre-compose your clip, make sure move all attributes and adjust composition duration are selected then click on OK. Now go to tracker and click on, track camera. As the analyzing is done, select as much points as you can for a better perspective. Then right click and select create null and camera. I will cut that track null and match it to the length of the video I'm working on. Now let's add the wing footage, I will leave a download link in description for this one. Let's cut the best moment of it. Once you're happy, link it to track null and enable 3D on angel wings layer. Change X, Y and Z rotations, position it and scale as much as you will enjoy. Once you're happy with its orientation and size, let's make it look a bit realistic by masking the wing and make it behind the car. Grab a pen tool. I will mask this part of the wing where it touches the car, let's toggle off wing layer for a while so we can see the car clearly. Make sure you are masking on wing layer. Once you've finished masking that part, toggle on back wing layer, press M to open masks and click on, inverted. Open mask 1 settings and add feather a bit to smooth the edges. Let's scroll the video and check if mask follows the car perfectly. In my case it needs a fix. So what I'm going to do is, go to the moment from where the mask starts running away from a selection and click on mask path stopwatch icon. Correct that mask there. Then keep going forward and correct the mask till the end of the clip. Nice, I'm happy with it. Let's add some effects now. Select very bottom clip and add exposure effect. Bring down the exposure to darken the background. Now select Wings layer and add Deep Glow plugin on it. Adjust Glow settings until it looks cool to you. Now select Bottom Video and let's add Rays effect to headlights. But first we need to mask the headlights perfectly. I will use Mocha AE for better masking and tracking. In Mocha grab a pen tool and mask headlight. Once you've finished masking, enable Perspective and click on Tracking button. If mask needs to be fixed, stop there, correct the mask and track it again. Once it's done tracking, lock that mask, then grab a pen tool and mask another headlight. Once you've finished masking it, enable perspective and track it backward now. If mask needs to be fixed, correct the mask and click on track backward again. Do this steps till the end of tracking. Once you are done with mask, click on save button and close the mocha. Under the mocha expand mat and click on apply mat. Now duplicate your clip. Select bottom one and delete mocha AE on it. Click on top layer again and rename it to headlights. Add Godray's plugin on headlights layer. If you don't have that plugin, check the description of this video, I will leave a download link. Let's adjust the ray settings, don't copy my settings cause, clips are different and my settings won't work for you. Play around until it looks awesome to you. Nice, now let's duplicate the bottom clip. Move it above other layers and rename it to car only. Make sure to delete all effects on it. Then grab a roto brush tool and double click on car only layer. Roto brush the car perfectly. Once you're done selecting, click on freeze button. Once the freezing is done, go back to composition. Move car only layer below angel layer. And move headlights layer above the car only layer. Let me show you before roto brushing and after. You can now add more darkness on the background to make it look outstanding. That looked pretty cool to me. If you have already mentioned the only issue in this video, is that the wings glow is not perfect, there is the unwanted line. Let me show you how to fix it very quickly. Copy deep glow plugin and delete it. Select wings, track null and 3D tracker camera layers and pre-compose them into one layer. Make sure, move all attributes and adjust composition duration are selected then click on OK. Now paste deep glow plugin here. Everything is fixed and looks cool. I guess that's enough for this video, it already looks pretty amazing. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please hit the like button.